Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. Here's a video about the menu bar. The menu bar is another kind of navigation that you can use uh, when you're building your 90 Second Website Builder website. The menu bar is often confused with the navigation bar. They're two very different things. Let me show you quickly what I mean. The navigation bar is that graphical single layer button that a lot of people like because it's quick and easy to use. If you double click on it, of course you can change its orientation to horizontal and you can change the look of the buttons by selecting from sort of a graphic library or by adding your own buttons, your own images and changing all the settings. That's what the navigation bar is and it's just kind of single layer. But this video is about the menu bar. There is a video about the nav bar if you want to learn more about it. But the menu bar is considerably different. First of all, it comes off uh, less graphical at first. doesn't have to be that way. But it starts off this way. The menu bar has not only a different look to it, but more importantly, a different structure. And here's what I mean. When we double click on the menu bar, settings, it brings up this uh, properties window and as you can see it gives you sort of a demonstration or a sample structure that you could use in your menu system so here's an item as you can see the items over here and here's item 2 which appears over here and then these are sub items these are the items or the categories that would appear under these menus when we click on them or hover over them. And these sub items can then have sub items of their own and so on. This kind of a menu or navigation system is called a hierarchy. And you can use the menu bar to create a hierarchy for your website, a hierarchy menu system. Now obviously you would edit these, you wouldn't want this to be called item one, you might want this to be called home page or whatever. So you would click on an item and you would edit it and say I'd want this to be called home and I'd want when people uh, click on it to link to one of my pages so say I would select my index page and now I've successfully edited that part of the menu bar so this now would read home when people click on it it'll go to the index page I'll show you what I mean so it's here I'll click F5 to preview and you can see when we hover over these items I get the sub items and the sub sub items. So that's the structure and that's how you would manually edit it. And speaking of editing, obviously you would delete the ones that you don't want to use by hitting remove. I could also change where these appear in the hierarchy. I can move something underneath something else like this. I can move, you know, something up in the hierarchy over here, right here. So you can move things around, delete edit, change the name, you can even add what's called a split, you insert a split, so if you wanted a line between certain things, you could do that too, so maybe I want a line, you know, here or here between these, anyway, it's, it's easy to edit the menu bar and change its orientation as well, but here's something you should know about the menu bar that's very, very cool. If you have created your website structure already, and I'm going to move this over closer to the site manager, site manager so you can see what I've done for this demonstration. I've created a website that's got about five pages here. And under one of those pages, I have what are called child pages. This products page would be considered a parent page. And because I have pages under it, so to speak, they're called child pages. Now, there's never really a reason to do this unless you're going to use the menu bar hierarchy system. Here's what I mean. Instead of going through and editing each one of these items manually, what 90 Second Website Builder allows me to do is to take my menu bar and simply synchronize it with my site manager. I'm going to check this box and you'll notice all of this goes gray. I can't edit this now because 90 Second's going to do it for me. I've checked this box I hit OK, and now you'll see that my menu system matches my site structure. Let me hit F5 so I can show you how. These are all going to link to the pages that they correspond to. And then here's a drop down because I had some child pages which have become sub items in the menu. Now I did that at the click of a button because all I did was I synchronized my menu bar with my site structure. And it's great because it made sure all of the links 
link to the right pages. All of these are going to link to the right spot. Now, here's a problem. What if I don't like the way this looks? What if I want to change the way this reads? Well, it's easy to do. All I do now is uncheck this box, and I won't lose any of the work that 90 Second did for me. In fact, it's great because it's already done all of the hard work by creating the correct links. I can just change the look of it now. So if I select this item and edit it, I might want to call this home page rather than index. It'll still link, as you can see, to the right file. It's still going to link to my internal page called index, but it looks better for it to be called home. I can do that with the rest of them. Let's say I don't want it to be, I don't want it to look like this. I want it to look a little friendlier to read without changing the link. I'm just changing the text here, but the page is still going to be correct. It's going to link to my about.html page. And I would continue to do that throughout. And by clicking OK, you can see it does affect the look of the menu. I'm going to hit F5 again to preview, and you can see I still have the hierarchy or the structure. So that's one of the greatest tools about working with the menu bar is that you can hit that synchronized site manager and then unsynchronize it to edit it or sort of clean it up any way that you want to. Now, let's talk about the look. That's the structure or the framework, but what about the look? Are we stuck with this sort of ugly blue look here? No. If you don't like that, don't worry, because in the Style tab, there are a number of predefined themes that you could choose from. For example, here, this one's called Aqua. And if I chose this theme, this would be laid against my particular menu. This is just a sample demo. It wouldn't, changing this will not change my structure will just change the look. So if I was to choose a theme, let's say, let's pick one called Fancy, and I say OK, as you can see it updated the look. I'm going to go F5, and there I am. It just changed the look. So you can make a graphical navigation system using the menu bar. Now, if you don't like any of these, and there's a bunch of them, some of them are plain, you know, and some of them are fancy schmancy. Some of them are kind of simple. This one looks like, a, you know, Windows. Uh, it looks like Internet Explorer, I should say. Here's kind of, a, you know, a kind of a gaudy one if you, if you like that sort of thing. But anyway, there's a lot of different things you can choose from, a lot of different themes you can choose from. But if you really don't like anything and you really want to get into it, you have full control over what this looks like. Here's what I mean. You choose user defined instead of one of the themes you go to the top there's an area called user defined. And here you can decide what your menu item looks like and how it's going to behave. The first section here called style is about the whole menu. So for example the font size that applies to the whole menu, which font, how opaque you want it, if you want it opaque or if you lower this it would become sort of transparent. The split color, remember we added splits, you can change the color of the splits. But one of the things you can do is change the effect, and this is kind of cool. Right now I have it on a none effect. There's no effect. But if I put it on sort of, let's say, sliding, now what will happen is, and I'm going to preview it, you'll see that when the submenu appears, it sort of slides. See how it slides down? That's just, that's called an effect. Or I could make it, rather, rather than slide, I could make it fade, etc whatever. So you can decide what your uh, menu bar is going to look like here under the Style tab, User Defined, by, by changing these parameters. This section will just affect the style item. So in other words, the items inside the menu. The background color, as you can see right now, it's this blue. And the, f and the border color would be this if I had a border, but I have a zero border, so it's not showing. But if, if I wanted to have a border, Let's make one fat so you can really see it, and let's change the color drastically so you'll see what I mean. So I, if I wanted a border, see, I would get that. So you can decide what every little nuance looks like, what's transparent, if the font's going to be bold or normal, if there's going to be a background image. Here you can really make it graphical if you don't want to just show these colors and text, and you have a button you'd like to use. If it's the right size, you'll have to experiment with this. You can pull up an image and put that in the background. The padding is the space around the items, the top and the, the uh, right-hand side, the bottom, the left-hand side. That's what these numbers mean in pixels. You can align the text. Either you can make it left or center or right. And so, you, as you can see, if you really want to take the time, 
you can decide what these things look like. This section will help you uh, design what just the hover looks like. So you'll notice when we hovered over an item, a different color showed up. Well, you can decide what that back, background color would be when the user hovers over an item and what, uh, whether the font would be bold or italicized or underlined, etc. Every sub-item can then be decided upon. What background color you want for that, whether you want it bolded, if you want a border, italicized, etc. So you can, you can pretty much decide what your menu items and what the whole menu bar properties are going to look like by playing in this style tab. If you really want to get into it and you're really picky about what it looks like, then have fun and change these settings. It can't hurt to mess around with it and just experiment to see what it does. Click OK. If you don't like it, come back and change it back. But um, a fast way to do it, of course, would be to pick one of these and uh, let 90 seconds do the rest. That basically tells you how the menu bar works. There's two parts to it again. There's the structure, which happens under the general tab. And then there is, of course, the look of it or the style. And now you know how to do that. That's the difference between the menu bar and the navigation bar. Both of them have their purposes, but the menu bar allows you to work with this particular structure. Okay, so enjoy the use of the menu bar in 90 Second Website Builder. Thanks.